Hello there, and welcome to day eight of my 30 days of German language challenge. That's right, this is where I'm trying to learn or see what I can learn from the German language in 30 days. If you remember yesterday, we've dealt with this. Yes, genders, genders for nouns and articles. We had masculine, feminine, and neuter. If you're still interested, you want a little bit of a refresh, this is what they look like in German. Whoop. Manlich, weiblich, unsachlich. And I've been trying to wrap my head around this because there is apparently no simple rule that would help you discern or decide whether a particular noun is neuter, feminine, or masculine. So I've been trying to look for and find some hacks and I think I might have come up with something albeit it's not exactly a simple rule but heck it's better than nothing right right so apparently the best of these rules is simply that you will have to learn this at random you will have to learn this as you go and memorize it as you are going to be using more and more nouns and more and more of these articles but we have these what are these, you might be wondering? Well, these are suffixes. In other words, these are the endings of words. As you can see, these are some masculine ones. And it's been tricky. I won't lie, I had to go through a number of websites, a number of resources. And I've compiled this list of suffixes that indicate that that particular noun is most likely masculine, and therefore we will use der as the article for it. One important thing to say is that it is not perfect, and I'm sure that you can find many exceptions, but I think that I will put this into one of those Anki decks that I've grown oh so fond with, and try and memorize this a little bit, but mostly to put it into practice, of course that will be better. But this is what I have. So yet again, these are the suffixes that I found and compiled from a number of sources for feminine nouns. There's quite a number of them, as you can see, and yet again I will do the same for all of these. That is, as I said, for masculine ones, Anki flashcards, flashcards, flashcards. That's what I do, that's what I like. Right. Oh no, 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 come back. And I almost forgot, we will be using the article D for feminine nouns and the indefinite article, so we have complete, we have ein, eine, ein, eine, der, die, ein, eine, I could keep going, der, die, of course this would not be complete without, Newton. And the same principles apply, and by principles I mean these are suffixes, for nouns, for neuter nouns, and the article we're going to be using for neuter is der, die, das. That's right, der, die, das. So, das. And then the indefinite article we're going to be using is ein, 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 ein. So, once again, das. There's nothing on the other side, sorry. Das or ein. Das or ein. Der, die, das. Ein, eine, ein. That's right. And that's going to be it for today. I know, I know. At first glance, it may not seem like it's all that much. But trust me, just thinking about trying to learn all that stuff and somewhat memorize it into a usable information in my brain that I could sort of attach to whenever I'm trying to say something or just for myself practice speaking in German. It seems... Like it's quite a lot and plenty to master, believe me. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button below. It really helps me out. And if you like these videos and you want to see the next one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you will see the very next video. All right, that has been it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. You take care and hopefully I will see you tomorrow.